Privet Ina. Uh, Privet. Aap kaisi ho? <laughs> Did I do it right? Did you understand that? <laughs> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> so, I practiced. So uh, let me uh, welcome you, uh, Pivet Ina. Dobby yes. Jean. Dobby Jean. <laughs> Minya Jabut Vijay from India. Wow, you've got perfect Russian. How so, do you, how do I say in English uh, in in your language? Me, uh, my name is Ina. Ah, uh, Mira Nam Ina hai. Mira Nam Ina hai. That's all. So, uh, Ina, uh, it's a very privilege for us. You have joined uh, with us, with my students. Uh, I think uh, it will be a great day for my students and for me. Uh, you know, uh, India and Russia is very old friends. So that's why I have, uh, it's my idea, it's my uh, thinking to interact uh, first of all with Russia. So uh, a lot of uh, thanks from the core of my heart. You have uh, find some precious time for my students. Thank you very much for inviting me. I feel really privileged and happy to join you today. And I hope we have a great conversation. I'm really interested in India. I've been in India once and I really liked it. And today I might want to know more from you. And also I'm ready to share everything you want to know about Russia. Okay, thank, thank you. Vijay. Thank you, thank you, Ina. So it's my uh, students, Diksha. Uh, first of all, she will uh, formally welcome you. Privet ma'am, Dovri Jean, Manya Jabu Diksha, and my question is, what is your name and its meaning? Uh, all right, that's an interesting question. Thank you. Can you repeat your name, please? Manya Jabu Diksha. Diksha. Yes, ma'am. Right? Thank you, Diksha. So my name is Ina. Uh, it's got a meaning. And it means like uh, something like a fast river. Has your name got a meaning too? It means that uh, giving someone a, it means a direction. Okay, great name. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So maybe someone else wants to ask a question. I will feel uh, very happy to answer. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. My name is Suneha Sharma. I am very excited to meet with you. And my question is, is it true that the Trans-Siberian Railway Station is the longest railway station in the world? And how it is the backbone of Russia? Uh, ha hello. Thank you for your question. I understood the first part. You are asking about the um, longest railway in the world, yes. right? Yes, ma'am. Um, can you yes? Uh, can you repeat the second question, please? There were two questions. Ma'am, and how it is the backbone of Russia? Um, all right, still didn't get the second one. Sorry, um, but uh, maybe Vijay could help. Uh, yeah, she's uh, tried to ask uh, this uh, uh, Siberian uh, trans railway station is the is, is believed that it's a backbone of Russia. So she asking you how it's uh, proved a backbone of uh, Russia. Mm. All right, so the first part is quite clear. It is really the longest uh, railway. I don't really know. Um, I think that in, uh, India is also a big country, right? Yes, ma'am. And uh, yes, right. And uh, railway is also popular here in your country. Lots of people travel by train, right? Yes, ma'am. 
And uh, do you know what is the longest route in India? So how many days or how many hours do you travel from one part to another? I'm almost three days. All right, so now we can compare. Uh, so in Russia, when you go from the one part to another, it takes six days. So and as for the backbone of Russia, I don't really know. <laughs> Uh, yes, it is important and popular and people from other countries take routes when they want to discover Russia, they get to this uh, train from one, uh, from one end, they travel, they um, live at different stations and study cities and also my city, because my city is exactly in this railway and they travel for a week here and back. So it's one of our famous places. Thank you. Yeah. Ma'am, is it connects to China and Mongolia? So we've got a border in Mongolia uh, with Russia and Mongolia, but these railways uh, doesn't connect these countries. It's only inside of the country. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And you also have... Thank you for your question. Thank you. Thank you, Ina. So uh, one of my students, Shifali, she uh, want to ask a question. Good yeah, morning. my pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My, my name is Shifali and my question is, what, what are your favorite festivals? Um, that's a great question. I will tell you something about my favorite festival. And I would also uh, like to know about your favorite festival. My favorite uh, festival, Diwali. Uh, what is it? Um, so how is it celebrated? What is it about? Ma'am, in that day, we celebrate it like in, uh, in that day, we clean our homes and uh, it is according with the uh, Rama's coming in Ayodhya. And it All right, is... thank you. Yes, yes, please continue. <laughs> Ma'am, I have one another question. Um, in, uh, in Russia, uh, many people... It is true that the pupils make handmade dolls. It is the traditional there. Uh, yes, uh, I suppose so, but it's quite, uh, it was an old tradition back uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe 50 or even 100 years ago when we didn't have any industry for dolls. Every family were making their own dolls. Now it's like more, um, maybe in museums or some people are making their dolls for fun or for, um, for collectioners. But I can't say that it's a tradition within any family, in every family now. Um, it's quite rare nowadays, I guess. And I also, I didn't say about my favorite festival because you asked me, but I didn't say. Uh, I don't know whether you celebrate this festival in India. Uh, in Russia, my favorite festival is New Year. Um, in lots of countries, their favorite festival is Christmas. But in Russia, Christmas is not as popular. Uh, we are not a very religious country. So some people like Christmas, but uh, I like New Year more because um, on this day, uh, our city is decorated with lots of lights. People are sharing their favorite food. They're meeting friends. This is the best place, the time to relax. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the question. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. My name is Tamanna and my name is Tamanna yeah. and my question is do you live in Siberian region? Yes, I live in Siberia and it's really cold here today. It's uh, minus 25 degrees Celsius. 
Do you measure your temperature in Celsius or in Fahrenheit? Uh, in Celsius. So now you understand my temperature. It's minus 25. And I have to put lots of clothes to go outside because it's really cold. What's your temperature today? 10. It's plus 10, right? 10 degrees Celsius. Is it cold for you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, and what is your comfortable temperature? What temperature do you like? 25. 25. Yes, exactly. Yes, I can hear that exactly with me. I also like 25, not more and not less, but it's minus 25. Thank you. But uh, I want to add something. Uh, in these days, uh, we live in north uh, part of the India. So in uh, from November to uh, February, uh, not February, but uh, end of uh, january january so it's a cold uh, time here uh, temperature uh, temperature varies from sometime uh, in the night uh, minus uh, in my native place also but uh, uh, if we uh, go far from my uh, place to north side uh, that is a uh, capital of uh, my uh, state that is himachal pradesh shimla in the uh, Shimla region, uh, in the night, uh, sometime temperature below uh, 10, even minus 15 degree is there. And in these days, there uh, is uh, maybe a uh, uh, probability of uh, snowfall in these days. Now and I'm really surprised. <laughs> I was sure that India is a hot country all mm. year round. No. So most of people uh, are. Uh, uh, going to there to enjoy the snowfall. Uh, it's uh, uh, all of, uh, in, in India only. This is the part of uh, India where you can have a uh, snowfall experience. Okay, so, so uh, Vijay, so I, thank I, you. Uh, yeah. Yes. I'm I'm really surprised with that. Actually, I was so sure that you don't know. <laughs> what is snow that I prepared some of my personal photographs to, to show you how this how winter looks from my side and if you allow me to share the screen I will show you some of my uh, family photos for, with the please. winter season please please I don't know if, if I can do that so to allow you need to allow to do that because uh, okay. it says that organizer uh, switched it off okay I think you can now can share. Yeah, 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 right. Wait a second. So this is my screen. Family went on. So I told you that uh, my favorite celebration is New Year because the city is decorated highly with lights. So this is the city center right now in uh, my city in Novosibirsk. It is really beautiful. I was walking here and there and taking lots of photos as well as lots of other people. But this is not my photo. This was a famous photographer. Now it's about my photos. So this is our typical look of our parks uh, where people are walking, children are playing with different playgrounds. Uh, they go to the up to the hills and go down the hills. They're sliding. And I want you to look at this picture and guess what it is, why there is a saw here. Can you see a saw? Yes, ma'am. All right. So this is one of our favorite festivals in winter. We are making igloos, snow houses. So first we take a saw and make snow bricks and then we try to arrange a snow house or igloo. So, um, and then it looks like a snow village. It's very popular that lots of people doing that. 
And also there are snow kiters, people who are having fun with the snow on the, uh, on the skis. And this is our house. So this is me and my husband. We made our first snow house or igloo and we were extremely proud of that. So some people even get to these igloos at night and sleep there. Uh, I haven't slept there yet because I don't like that cold weather, but I'm impressed that some people can sleep inside. So that was my short presentation of our winter activities. Uh, I have uh, seen some uh, photographs of uh, that place you showed us, uh, your family, you and your husband. Yes, I uh, shared some of my photos on, on Facebook. On Facebook. And uh, yeah. surely I will show my students. So okay. uh, who is going to ask? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Ma'am, is it that true that the Russian peoples are very superstitious? Um, they are superstitious, but it depends. Some of people are very superstitious, some not. I could say that I'm not very superstitious. What about you? Uh, I'm not superstitious. <laughs> also, I have the same condition in, in India. Uh, it depends. Some people are superstitious and some people are not superstitious. Yes, I heard that the Indian people are very superstitious. And uh, I remember when we were in America, I asked your teacher Vijay to talk to his daughter. And when we were talking to his daughter, I asked her, have you got any pets? Have you got a cat? And she said, no. And uh, cats, I, I found out, are a bad superstition in India. Is that true? Yes, it's uh, true. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the question. Thank you. So, so, no, so. Oh, that's so sweet. And we know that the friendship of India and Russia is very strong. So Yes, yes. And I'm so happy of that. Yeah. I also got an Indian flag, which your teacher gave me. Thank you. Thank you. I am very happy to, I am very happy to see a logo of India flag in your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here with you. And I'm happy that your teacher gave it to me. Now it's always with me. It's a memory of our collaboration when we worked together. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, I want some another question. Sure. What is your school name and what subject do you teach? Uh, all right. Uh, so I think it's a bit different between India and Russia. Do, uh, do I understand well that uh, Indian schools have got names? Has your school a name? Yes, ma'am. Government Senior uh, Secondary School. Uh, so in Russia, most schools don't have any names. They just have got numbers. So my school is just called number school number 45. And that's it. We don't have any num uh, name. And I teach English at school, English to students of uh, 12 to 17. So uh, about your age, they're my Thank students. You, Thank you. What is that? I can see it's a picture. Oh, it's a beautiful portrait. I really like that. Did you draw it? No, it's uh, uh, another student. Uh, uh, yesterday I have visited uh, uh, one of uh, another school where my wife is uh, teaching there. And uh, there is one student. Uh, her name is uh, uh, Sylvie. She uh, gave me this uh, portrait. And this is uh, our uh, Himachal 
tradition. This is Marie's state traditions. And uh, she she's the uh, girl uh, that is uh, belongs from that particular area where this uh, tradition is still lie there. And the people uh, dress up like this uh, reason on special occasion, uh, like uh, some festivals uh, on uh, marriages, etc. So it's That's a brand. Great tradition. Uh, it's, and it's, also I've got okay. I've got a question to your students. Sure. Uh, I, I want to compare uh, Russian students and Indian students. So in Russia, um, most of the students do some extra activities after school. So they go to music school or art or sports. And my question to your students, do they have any extra activities? What do they do uh, for, for fun or for what they like, what they really like? My, my hobby is painting and singing. That's great. Have you performed with your singing somewhere? Ma'am, uh, my previous school is Kendriya Vidalya Nangalbur and I am singing here during morning assembly. Oh, really? At school? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. What about other students? What are their hobbies or extra activities? Ma'am, my hobby is dancing. And playing also. Uh, is, it, uh, is it traditional Indian dancing or other style? Yes, ma'am. Classical dance and uh, some Bollywood also. So next to my house, uh, there is a club and there is Indian dancing there. So some of my stu uh, girl students, they also do Indian dancing here in Siberia. Okay, ma'am. What about playing? You said playing. Uh, so many uh, games they played. Uh, most uh, popular game is, you know, cricket. <laughs> everywhere. Cricket. Yeah, I know that. Uh, everywhere, in every gully, every street, uh, people uh, this, uh, at uh, of any age, they prefer to play cricket. So, but uh, there is another games also is there in my schools. Uh, we have a uh, badminton, uh, volleyball, you yeah, know, like volleyball. Yes, so, yes. I and, like badminton and I like volleyball. Yes. In our school system, there is a, uh, a curricular activities in which the uh, students have a calendar, which they have to play some games. Uh, the, uh, not our students, but the students who like the uh, participate in that games. One of my students asked some question. Yes, yeah, sure. Good morning, ma'am, once again. Morning. Ma'am, uh, I want to play, uh, like play uh, football in uh, extra time. Uh, ma'am, uh, are you know about uh, Christian Ronaldo? Yes, I know about Christian Ronaldo. Is like he. Um, I don't. I don't really remember his country. It's Portugal. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. He's a very awesome player. That is. So some of my students are real football fans, and they also like Lionel Messi. Yeah, yeah. This is the debate between the students. Uh, they uh, some some like Cristiano Ronaldo and some like uh, Christian, uh, Lionel Messi. Yeah. Right. So football students are usually good students. Is it also uh, they happen in Russia? Yes, yes. There are lots of football fans. Some of my students have football practice five times a week. How many times a week do you practice? Yeah, we are uh, practice daily when we uh, in free time. Three times a week. Thank you. That's great. Thank you, man. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. Uh, ma'am, I have a question. Uh, what are famous uh, Russian dishes? Oh, that's a great question. Actually, I prepared some photos to share with you, but I would also like to know about yours later. Let's look at the famous dishes. Can I share the screen? Sure, ma'am. Okay. Right. 
let's get to the photos. So <clears throat> before I was uh, thinking about presentation, I was, I know that um, cuisine uh, dishes in Russia and India are different uh, at some point. For example, I know that um, cow is a sacred animal and usually uh, lots of Indians are vegetarians and they don't eat meat at all. Right, so um, in Russia it's different. Uh, so anyway, I tried to avoid anything that you wouldn't like. So this is our favorite dish. It's a soup called borscht or red soup. Uh, there are lots of vegetables and it's very popular all around the country. Also, my husband likes only that soup and nothing else. He, when I cook another soup, he's not happy. He eats it, but um, he looks sad. So. Uh, this is one of our favorite salads. Uh, it's totally uh, vegetarian. There are boiled potatoes, carrots, beets, what else? Um, cucumbers and onions. And uh, it's all um, spread with olive oil or um, sunflower oil. Uh, do you know what is that? Do you know this product? No, ma'am. Uh, so this is our delicacy. This food is uh, very expensive and usually you can't afford it to eat every day. For example, my family, we only eat it on special occasions like um, on, on holiday. This is a uh, red caviar or fish eggs. And how is so, it taste? Um, is it sweet? It's no, no, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's fish. It's basically fish uh, eggs, like uh, chicken eggs, but this is fish eggs. It's salty. It's got its own um, taste, but I don't know how to, how to explain it. It's a bit fishy, a bit salty, uh, but I like it. Okay, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't like it because uh, the taste is very different to what you used to. Um, kids usually don't like that, but adults are happy to have that. Okay. All right. Is that, yeah, is that all? Um, let's talk about something. No, there is some more. This is um, cold soup. Uh, it's usually with lots of vegetables like uh, potatoes and cucumbers and radish and dill. Oh, by the way, do you eat dill in India? I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Oh, all right, so I don't know as in India, but in Russia, it's very popular. We usually put it in every salad, in every soup, in our favorite red soup, and in this cold soup. So we basically cut all the vegetables and pour some, um, some drink like uh, sour milk. All right, this is a typical, very typical Russian food, mashed potatoes and um, meat. Patty. Um, do you have something like this? We call it pulov. Um, it can be with a rice, uh, with the meat or without meat, just with vegetables. Uh, for me, it reminds uh, Indian cuisine because uh, it's very spicy and you need to put some curry in it. So I really like that. I mean, in India, it is known as poha. Ah, so you've got something like this in India, right? Sometimes it is called biryani. Oh, I know. Your teacher Vijay cooked biryani and he gave it to me and I really liked it. And I asked him to teach me. And he promised to do that, but still didn't <laughs> give me that secret recipe. So I am still hoping. I am really uh, sorry. I can't find uh, a suitable time for that. Uh, but really, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> it's a very uh, famous uh, dishes in India: uh, veg biryani and uh, non-veg biryani. And uh, a non-veg biryani from uh, one of our uh, famous uh, state, Hyderabad. Uh, the biryani is known as <laughs> ha the ha Hyderabad biryani, and that's very famous. 
all over world so uh, that brani i can't cook but uh, vegetable uh, brani i can cook and one day i promise i will find time and uh, <laughs> we will uh, jointly uh, cook on that day thank you yes i i don't know about that other biryani i don't care about that i only want yours because it was perfect okay so let's go further so this is also one of the very popular dishes in russia and it's like meat jelly i imagine you have never seen or tried it do you know like fruit jelly so we we have fruit jelly yes uh, this we, is meat jelly uh, we we take uh, fruit jelly as uh, uh, children are very uh, very they have good taste of that jelly yes i also like fruit jelly but so fruit jelly is popular everywhere this meat jelly is only popular in russia so this is our russian um, i don't know how to say it's not cookie it's something like bread i know that in india there is a tasty naan bread so this is a bit different. Yes, I really like naan, especially naan with garlic. And uh, these are pancakes. They've got a um, neutral taste. You can use it with something sweet or with something salty. Um, is this is a is this a pancake you have uh, yes. cooking uh, in cook, cook in America? Yes, yes. These are the pancakes I cooked for my friends in America. Ah, that's very delicious. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Another typical sweet dish. Uh, it's uh, raspberry jam. We cook and eat lots of different gems from different berries. Do you eat, uh, do you have such food like berry gems? No, ma'am. Uh, yeah, so in Russia, it's popular, uh, whatever. Uh, and this is something like a jelly. Uh, we also like it. Now it's fruit, not meat. Uh, do you eat honey? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, also in Russia, it's also one of the most popular sweet dishes. You can eat it with pancakes, with tea, masala tea, name it. Uh, it's delicious. And those are... I don't know how to say that, pies, closed pies. They can also be with something sweet inside, but these are with cabbage and with eggs and onion. So I believe that's it. This is the food. Now I would like to hear about your typical and favorite food you like. <clears throat> Ma'am, my favorite food is kidney beans and rice, chole bhature. I know kidney beans, I like them, and rice is like the base of all the dishes, right? Yes, ma'am. And I also like masala dosa. Do you know masala dosa? Yes, ma'am. It's very delicious. Yeah, I like it very much. I tasted it once or twice in India, and I loved it and remembered that. Yes, ma'am. And Pani Puri is one of them. You know, Ina, what is Pani Puri? Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear that. I don't know what is Pani Puri. Pani Puri what is, is, some, Pani? Uh, is something uh, you may call butter ball, as the, my student is saying. <laughs> she will explain. What do you make it from? Ma'am, uh, uh, it's like a bowl of uh, suji. Like suji, I don't know what Flour. suji is. Yes, ah, flour. Oh. <laughs> I know flour. So these are like bowls of flour. And we make syrup of turmeric, sour, turmeric water, turmeric and, water some and some spices. And uh, add some sugar. So put all the ingredients in uh, in these bowl. bowls. 
So it has got sugar and spices, right? Yes, ma'am. So you eat everything in, with spices. Actually, I, I like Indian spices. Look what I've got. Ah, I press gum masala. That's great. Uh, and, and this dish is very popular in uh, female of uh, uh, all ages. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will like it too. I just need to try and find the recipe. Mani puri, right? Uh, pani puri. Uh, uh, pani puri. Then, then the ladies uh, go for shopping. So they will have certainly that uh, dish on that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so uh, uh, please, uh, I think uh, uh, we have only two two to three minutes left. Okay, let's have some kind of a, uh, a screenshot photo. Uh, maybe, sure. You can uh, take that photo because yes. uh, I have... Uh, uh, right, I will I will say one, two, three, and I make a screenshot and I save it and we'll do it uh, twice so that uh, we are sure that... <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay. One, two, three. Let me save it. So relax for now. I'm saving it. Um, I can't. What's wrong with that? Mm, one moment, please. No, I didn't. I didn't do the the print print screen. Sorry. Once again, uh, one, two, three. Uh, okay. Wait for a second. Yeah, now we've got it. Uh, I will save it and send it to your teacher. Savers, India. So, Ina, uh, I think uh, time is running. Yeah, and, uh, okay. Yes, I, thank I, you. I, I, I took the photos. <laughs> So, so time is running. Uh, it it is it was a great uh, session, and uh, really my Thank student you. enjoy very much. And, Me too. Uh, the pleasure was mine. Thank you so much, guys. 